Goodbye, Prospector. Allow me to light your candles, candles once more. I won't be killing you. Quite yet. Okay, at least he gave me the life back. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I have no words for this freak of nature. A largely unimpressive specimen. The Eternal Serpent, death strengthens it forever. Um, I feel like we don't have a, that many bone cards in the deck, so let's go with the Long Elk. Woo, first boss beaten. With the sound of the Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the human air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. First, I'm gonna go check out that cage wolf over there. Oh my god. Hi. You fucking lunatic. Oh. Interesting. Oh, the wolf is there. I got a knife. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish you hadn't. Uh, okay, I have a knife now. I just turned that light off. That's, that's ominous. Okay. Nothing more in there. Is there anything else in this book? Knife has a key. Uh, key for the door? No. Not as far as I can see, there's no... There's some smoke coming out of this. That's interesting. Nothing interactable there. This globe has to mean something eventually. Alright. Not as far as I can see. I don't see anywhere to use a key. Don't see anything else in here. Yeah, you're right. It did have a shape of a hand. Ugh, those eyes. Hmm. I'll leave it on the shape of the hand. I'm not sure what it would do at this point. But we do have smoke coming in here because I unlit that candle. So it makes me wonder if there's something else about this cabinet. Nothing else in the cabinet. <coughs> all, right, all three of those are lit. There's gotta be something with this time, but I, I don't know what would tell me that. I feel like we'll keep playing the game and see if there's any more hints that come out. Arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. Ooh. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke 
pass one of my trials, and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first you will choose a trial. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, the flashing behind the door. Interesting. So we have the camera or the flashing door. That might be what the flash is the bug's referring to. Okay. A trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power. I think I have a lot of sigils in my deck, so this would probably be the easiest. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? If I had done either of the other ones, I would have succeeded. But I was like, no, I have a lot of sigils. God damn it. <laughs> Failure. The creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. Oh, good choices. Uh, let's see what this X is. Ooh. You came across some familiar stones. But there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Stop this. Do what you must. Uh, I'm guessing this is a way to remove cards from your deck that you don't want anymore. Oh my god! What's with the bug's face? Yo, Jamie, you see this? It's got like a human face on right now. Like a nose and everything, nose and lips. That's fucking wild. Yeah, right? Oh. Hmm. I feel like the skink. You callously slaughtered the skink. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon from the Bone Lord. Oh, is it because I thought it was because they were upgraded? Yeah, I guess they do glow up their talking cards. You will start each battle with one extra bone. That is pretty useful. You shook off the viscera of the poor skink and carried onwards. Oh, this is so cool, man. Oh. Oh. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Yo! Lindev for life. Thank you for the follow. What brought you to the stream today? Besides my sonorous voice. Oh no, all of his cards reduced my... My deck isn't built for power. Oh no. I'm about to get slaughtered. Oh no, oh no. That's not good. I kind of have to put the stoat here. Bad. You always say bad play no matter what I do, you little shit. Close enough, Lamau. <laughs> well, how are you doing today? In the move for some spooky? Nice. Okay. I can. Sack these two to drop the wolf so I can kill that even though it has two power. Okay. Been better, been worse. You know what? Living every day is the best we can do. It's just gonna keep hitting me. 
I have like nothing to take care of that. Oh, god damn it. Yep. <laughs> Just kind of have to hope I outrace him at this point. Brick frack. I can at least toss myself out here to get the stump. I can't kill that thing, though, with what I have. Yeah, I'm thinking this game is really interesting. I might go back and play their other games. Because this is really, really, really well developed. Oh, what's the dagger do? It's on the table. Not now. Draw a card first. <sighs> I was really hoping that it would be... Um, the frog to block this. I think I might just be screwed here. Oh, sweet, thank god, the bullfrog. I can at least block it for two turns. Oh, uh, but who do I sack? I guess I sack the stone. Oh, I have no idea what the dagger does. All I know is I got it from the squirrel statue. I have to draw. Oh, ho, ho, that's so cool looking, man. But it doesn't make a difference. I'm getting close to beating him. I think I, just, I think I actually got it. Farmsy, fucking buy it, man. This is so cool. And by the way, morning, Farmsy. How you doing, man? Right, what does the dagger do? Oh. Well, I just stabbed up my own eye. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Oh my god. Oh, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Whew. Um, this one has a cool... Ugh. Better. Regardless, the choice is final. What the fuck did I just do? Oh. And yo, by the way, Farnsey is a fantastic streamer. If you guys haven't checked him out before he is amazing uh, he's been doing a lot of the resident evil games so i definitely recommend giving him a follow he's wow beautiful river snapper casey the fervent mantis its praying claws strike both to the left and the right well that's a person right there that's just a fucking person um Let's do the fire. Can't yeah, not for the squeamish? No. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health, said a hungry survivor. Making you blush? Blush more, Farnsey. <laughs> Please no. She's... Oh, God, I hate that it has a face now. Ugh.
Um, let's check out this. Let's upgrade this new card, Casey. The fire warmed the weary Casey and enhanced his health. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your Casey in tow, you retreated into the woods. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking creepy. Thank you, Bone Lord. Alright, what you got over here? Two flyers. I got a fur to block you. I had to play Casey, right? This is will strike each opposing space to the left and the right of the space across from it. Okay. And then what's the other one? Once the card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker then is done a point. That's a really good card. Uh, yeah, let's toss a squirrel out. It's going to attack left and right, so we're going to put Casey here. So she'll hit the stump and the bee at the same time. And now I got bones for when I draw a bone card. Alright, Casey, let's see you kick some ass. I'm assuming the eye I took was Casey's. That's why I have her card now. Mm. Let's get the worker ant out. I haven't been using the ants all that much. Probably a good player, not like me. <laughs> what do we got over here? Okay, that's actually a really bad spot for the mantis. That's good for me. Um. <laughs> Now I have room for a uh, squirrel. So next turn I can toss out the Ant Queen. The bees! <laughs> okay, so their power got buffed. Power in numbers, the Ant's Creed. Ooh, so close. So close. Alright, let's get the worker ant out. Three, three, and three. Nice. Overkill. And what are we getting? Elk, beehive, river snapper. Um... Let's grab an elk. I'm sorely lacking in power in this deck. And let's go towards here. Uh, we'll do block flyers and can I... Yes. All right, so now my 1-8 can block flyers. Snapper is a good defense. Yeah, that's true. Um... I have a 1-8 here with the Death Touch. If I can give it Block Flying, it's going to be really powerful. <laughs> death Touch, because I play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I don't know what it's actually called in this game. Okay. What's on your board? Flying and what's this? Carbine sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn, while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Interesting. Oh, this is a problem. Um, I'm gonna have to use my boulder now. And then I'm going to toss Tuliel out here to block that flyer. Wait, it didn't kill it? Oh, just blocked it. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to need a squirrel. Alright, 
now I can squirrel up again, toss that here, sack both the squirrels, toss a wolf here, play the elk. Boom! So you can fly underwater and go, yeah. That's, it's a really strong card, I like it. What's this boy? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Sure, I have that. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Oh my god. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. I have, like, no flyers in my deck currently. I have too many things I need to sacrifice. Let's go to the bat. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Okay. Um, I have nothing in my pack right now. I need to get some more supplies. Hello, knife. A gust from this may let your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. So I guess it's flying for a turn. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the... It's bleeding if you can ignore the bleating. That's actually really good. Um, yeah, that's a good play, I think. And then we'll grab an extractor. <sighs> All right, boss time. We got this. We got this. Dude, take away my life again? That's some bullshit. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. There were bone tokens, you're right. I probably should have gone for those. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting flesh and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish! Okay. Another kingfisher. Fuck. Okay, I don't have anything to do with that now. <clears throat> hey. You're right. <laughs> Got nothing this turn. I have too many two-cost cards, I think. Um, let's at least play the smoke down. The kingfisher won't hit it, so I want it somewhere that could be hit. Which fish? Hard to choose. Oh? What, what are you doing over there? Huh? Fresher fish? Easy choose. Oh no. Do I have to just like avoid playing cards? I'll toss out the ant queen. It's gonna at least give me something back in my hand. New fish. Easy choose. I don't know what this is going to do to me. Well, I'm fucked. Uh... Take my shit, man. <laughs> Ugh. All right, if I toss a squirrel out, will that be fresh fish? Nice. Okay, so the squirrel can tank that for me. I'm at least going to be in the positive by one. For the kingfishers. Take fish, go fish. 
Squirrel is actually a really good play there because now he has a useless card. So I should just be in the positive here. Get, stop with my wolf. You can't even take it. Where are you going to put it? You have the kingfisher there. All right, well, let me grab a squirrel just in case. Okay, he got rid of one of his own cards. This is unfortunate. Wish I could see exactly how close I am to winning. Hey, Casey. Casey can still hit here. And I can toss the worker hand here out to tank the wolf. Alright, no, I have to stop that with a squirrel. I need two more hits to win, I think, so I should just be good here. Right? Oh, I forgot it's a boss. He has two health. Two lives, I mean. Go, fish. That's unfortunate. All right. So Tuliel's going to be good here, because whatever this is going to do, <laughs> he's going to be able to kill them. So let me toss out the squirrel here. Let Casey kill that. Whatever it turns into, we'll face next turn. Oh, my god. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I can at least kill it with that. Frick frack. I can't, I can't. It's fucking underwater. How am I even supposed to beat this? The angler, mind his hook. Play a swirl or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Okay, cool and all. But you're, you're here just for fodder, pretty much. I'm just... There's nothing I can do here. Get my other eye out. I did it. 